I legit forgot that I saved the game and exited out here. So we are right here at the Electro uh, Geo Vishap. Uh, we will not be fighting it today though. Uh, we have an Ascended Fischl. We have an Ascended Bennett. Uh, we also have the ability to level up a lot of artifacts so we can kind of bypass and also bu level up weapons which we have done as well. We can bypass uh, the idea of like having to level up our characters completely. Uh, still though, we are on the road to leveling up our adventure rank. That's the plan, to eventually level up our adventure rank. Um, I created another oh yeah, we get stuff for doing this. Yeah, we get like little rewards. I always forget this. So we can unlock a constellation on you now. Uh, when a meteorite... Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's a sword explosion. It's gonna do geo damage. Thank you. Thank you. And look at look at this boy. Attributes out the wazoo. We can we have to get a reward for sending him as well. So Mika apparently works really well with um, Ferminate, which actually would be really I good for us. I do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I also I'm sure the good people of the Adventurers Guild are absolutely fine, main Fräulein. I always have to let her speak. Wait, what? Defeat the monster and save the reckless pallet? Wait, what? Okay. This is, uh, of course, the last Genshin video of the week. And I've had such a great time. I feel like I've had such, like like I said, it's such a productive time. <laughs> it's such a productive time. Um, the plan is, of course, is to lock, is to log in uh, basically like every day um, over the next while. Not to get, not, not to grind or anything, but like it is kind of a grind I say as well. But like it's, what we have to do is, um, we're gonna basically level up our characters to like level 60 or send them. So the best way to do this for with characters like Zhao and Jean which are going to be actually very difficult to level up now because they have the same kind of level up items. I'm just going to have to fight, you know, similar characters every single day. You know what I mean? It's the similar um, boss battles every single day. Thank you, Traveler. You saved me. I never expected there to be so many monsters here. I'm just lucky to have run into you. Please take these uh, for your trouble. And I did always say that, like, you know, hey, we won't do anything off camera. But I think you guys understand, and I don't even have to explain it to you guys. Some This game is a lot bigger than I thought it would be and not only that but there's a lot of like little nitty-gritty details that are bigger than I thought they would be um, like you know and I say that as we're seeing probably one like that like this isn't this isn't a backdrop by the way this isn't a backdrop you can go everywhere here you know what I mean this isn't a backdrop like it's it's and this is even this is like a small percentage of the world as well it's so tiny compared to what we have and we're not even like in like the new areas as well and we're gonna do our commissions first. Let's get this chest and let's do our commissions first. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just raise our adventure rank now and then like, so then like it gives us motivation to keep going, you know? What do you think? What are you, what are you guys thinking? I think we raise our adventure rank right now. Who's up for it guys? Hands up, hands in the air. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Who's up for it guys? Because, like, we have two level, like, you know, we have two leveled up characters already. To level up Zing Shu, which is a character I want to level up at some point. Oh, why am I? I don't know why I keep going into the map. I do this all the time. Uh, to level up Zing Shu, we need to. We need some of these, which we can get from fighting those water oceanids, which I can do, you know, any day. So it's not like it's going to be that big of a deal. Literally, I could have all those items by next week for, for this guy, right? I could have all of his ascension materials by the next time we play. Um. I think that would be the, the, the best way to, to, to go about it. Uh, with Bennett as well, to ascend him again it's going to take a while, but we're not going to need to ascend him for a bit. To ascend you again, we're going to need some of those items again, but again, we're not going to need to do it for a bit. Zhao is the tough part, because we need two more of these, which you can get those no problem. So Zhao is who we're leveling up first. We can level up Zhao first, because then we have to level, because we, we, it's easier to get two of these and some of these than it is to do what it is for her, which is getting more dandelion seeds. To, we can get two of those as well. We can easily get two of those as well, but it's, it's these things that are the problems. We have to choose who we're going to level up first. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I think if, we, if I log in every day and fight some of these enemies every single day, it won't be an issue. It won't be an issue. Um, let's do this. I'm ready to raise it, because uh, there's something that, like, anxiety-inducing, right, about, like, is this it? Uh, that this is this how you raise your rank?
Which one is the raise your rank? <laughs> um, I mean, we could do both. So let's do this one anyway. This is our setup. This is our setup for now. Um, and I, I think I, t I was talking about the... Cool. I was talking about the pacing of this playthrough a million times over, but I still, th I still think some people don't understand it completely. Um, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm not gonna go to the next Archon quest right away. That's not like, it's, that's not going to my mind of like, let's delay the Archon quest. Like, at all. That's, that's not going through my mind whenever I play this game. What goes through my mind when I play this game is, what, what am I, it's like, what, what's more fun, fun for me? You know what I mean? What's, what's the most fun I can have in the next while? That's, that's literally all it is. And I am so grateful, by the way, that people really wanted to see me and the reaction to the Archon Quest and stuff like this. Um, but every, like, I think the majority of people as well, like 99% of people are like, I, I, I like this playthrough because of the pacing, and I always appreciate that. So I'm not trying to sound ungrateful or anything like that, because people have been very cool, people have been very generous, including something I have to show you quite after this as well, because someone gifted more crystals. Um, I don't know who did it this time though. You guys have to like, you know, you know, make it known. <laughs> make it known, guys. Um, you don't have to make it known, you can do anonymous if you want. But it's always like uh, a thing where I'm like, I don't know how like if we're gonna be able to do this. And like if I don't call it, I call you guys, call you out the first episode. Do it a second time. Don't think you're annoying me either. I always find that funny with, with, with comments whenever I'm playing a game, and people are like, I don't mean to be a bother, but is there any chance that you could play like Detroit Become Human? And I'm like. Why do you think it's a bother? <laughs> like, and it all just come from there's like kind of like a social thing nowadays with like with playthroughs where it's like it sounds like you're not enjoying this playthrough. I take it as literally like, oh my god, this person's so interested in watching me play a game that they're like, hey, do you want do you play Detroit Become Human? So please, don't ever think it's a bother. Like, comment 52 times if if you gave me something and I didn't give you credit for it. Don't think it's a bother. Is this is this what we have to do? Who knows? It's really cool. Sometimes I forget to look up in this game. You know? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. There we go. And we got... Did we get... What I came to do? Or was that like a different thing altogether? No, because that's still Adventure Rank 35. Hold on a second, what was the Adventure Rank mission? Um, the performance of the Adventure will take up the challenge will affect the ranking with the guild. Taking it, what the hell are you talking, navigate? I'm navigating. I'm navigating. We did this last time so easily. Why, why all of a sudden can I not do it? Oh, this is it. Is this it? That's the quest. Okay, I thought this was something we already did. Party level 60? No, it's not lower than expected, I bet. So they want they want us to be level 60 before we do this. But we can counter that. We can counter that, but like it'll force us to finally level up our artifacts. <laughs> you know? It'll force us to do something uh we're not used to doing. Let's do this. I thought something was attacking me there. I was like already started. Already started the the attack of Calvin. Oh my god, these guys are tough. Or are they? Man, like, I don't know, this, like, as much as, like, I think the air is still very tough and they're gonna give me lots of problems. Um, really, I feel like fighting enemies that are tougher than us early on, especially in this, you know, game, I feel like what it's gonna do is because it's, it's gonna force us to level up our artifacts, which is good. It's gonna force us to level up weapons more, which we already have. And it's gonna force us to just get better at dodging, get better at, uh, you know, general play. Let's light it up! It's gonna force us to like, you know, rely on lament more often, you know? A little bit of lamenting. No, it didn't hurt nobody. I literally just uploaded the um, Air Conquest, uh, just uh, the A Conquest there uh, yesterday. And like, I was so excited, of course, uh, to see like the, um, the you know, the reaction everyone has to it. Because that's like, that's what, pr what part of YouTube is really like, you know, it's like, there's no point doing YouTube if you're like, you can't see people's reactions to the videos at that point, you know what I mean? I understand it's a job. I understand it's, a, it, you know, it's, it's, hey, it's a job. But also, I love seeing people's reaction to it. Like, that's that's the main point of doing YouTube. It's, like, fun seeing people's comments. 
Um, but I had to go off for a bit, you know, go away for a bit. I don't have internet on my phone. Um, because, like, I, when I go outside, I like to... How do I say? I like it to be, like, very, you know, off the grid kind of thing. It's like, yeah, I'm going outside. You know, the people who need to reach me can reach me. Yeah, that kind of way. We don't need to go too into that, but... Um, but... So I didn't get to check the comments until I came back. And I came back, it was, like, so nice because it was, like, this outpouring of, like, so many funny comments, you know, so many great comments, so many comments on what their experience with the game. It was really just a really nice, uh, time as usual. Um, I've, I think I've said it before that, like, I usually fall asleep and I look at the comments one last time and... You know, of course, there's, event, there's times always, like, when they'll make you, like, a little bit upset and you're like, okay, I have to, like, not, I'm not gonna be able to sleep as well. But the majority of times, like, I read the comments in, in this playthrough, I'm like, this is awesome. You know, this is really awesome. So I thank you for the support on that this series. I thank you for making this series so fun for me. Um, because I don't think... I, I, I love this game to death, and I think I would like it as much. Uh, I, I would like it a lot if I was playing it um, by myself. But I don't think that... I would like it as much as I do, if that makes sense. I think part of the experience of why I love some video games is like, this is like a communal game to me as well. I feel your energy when I'm playing the game. You know, it's like uh, some some adventures, you know, end game stuff. It feels like, it, it, cause like it, it's, it's, it's also the fact that like, it's a community I'm not used to. It's a game I'm not used to. It's, it's made me just like kind of enjoy the game more really has um, and being a fantastic game helps someone asked if this game is in my top 10 favorite games now of all time I I was gonna say that I don't know if I said that last episode that's what triggered someone saying that but like I was literally thinking that I was like this is like the type of stuff that I love in video games uh, you know whether it be the build up of the acorn quest and how well it was built up how well the characters were like designed like that's the funny thing about this is like like, anyone who hasn't played Genshin, I, like, really feel like I, I scream out on the top of my lungs. There's a real bias, there is, 100% against games that have characters that have, like, a art style to them that is kind of anime-esque, right? Um, God forbid a game looks stylish and pretty, you know what I mean? God forbid a game actually try to, like, create, like, some interesting looking characters, you know? God forbid. Um, but a lot of people look down on those games as games that can't... Um, you know, have as good of a story as... Well, how could it have as good of a story as, uh... As, you know, the game I love. That has, a, you know, serious, serious George McGeorgeson. Who's very serious. And he, like... You know, he, you don't get it. He lost everything. He lost everything and he's sad and angry. And it's like, yeah, that story's cool. It's like all the Genshin stories you play. It's so, the Acorn Quest is so well built up. The characters are so impressive. Uh, that game is for anime uh, weebs. It's like okay, you, you miss you miss out on one one of the greatest games As ever you made. Wish, main toy <laughs> you you miss out on it. We need to, I don't know if this is. I don't even think this is the last guy, guys. I'm I'm not, I'm not doing very well. They are level sixty in fairness. So I'm not gonna feel too bad. You know what I mean? We do, oh, we did it. Oh, cool. And we raised our adventure rank. Awesome. Nice. And we got two intertwined fates. Uh, not intertwined fates, just uh, regular fates. But you get what I'm saying? I feel like there is a... I want to do a whole video on this eventually. Like, some of the best games that I've ever played have an anime kind of art style. Near Replicant, for example. Like, there's no... There's not many games that have a better story than Near Replicant. But they're looked down on sometimes because like, oh, well, that's, an, that's like an anime style game. Tell me why, then, I cried more... <laughs> when I played, when I finished Persona 4 Golden, than I did when I finished, you know, this other game that had a very, and here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with having like a realistic style. I hope it doesn't, I hope it doesn't come across to me saying that. I just really feel like it's, it's like they both can exist. You don't have to look to, like, because the thing is like, like most JRPG fans, RPG fans, and you know, stylistic games like this, the people who are big fans of them, I never hear them going on line and being like, this game looks dumb, it looks too realistic, you know? Which they, 100% totally valid criticism. Totally valid. 
I don't care what anyone says, it's a valid criticism. Um, because sometimes I'm like, I'm not interested in realism, I'm interested in style. But like, you, you always hear the other way around where it's like, oh, I don't really want to play that game because it like, looks too like anime. There's like this, you, just, you can even, you ever talk to one of your friends? And they like don't play games like this. And they don't play games like oh dandelion seeds. Oh my god, we can get some more of these. They don't play games like um like like uh Persona or Final Fantasy sometimes when they have a kind of a more distinct art style. I know that Final Fantasy's become more realistic nowadays. But they don't play these games. And whenever you're talking to them about the story, it, there's always like a tinge of like they will be very interested in what you're saying. Oh yeah, that's really cool, that's really cool, that's really cool. That's really cool, but you can see it almost in their eyes. They're like, yeah, but it's like an anime game, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I, you, you ever get that? I don't know, I get that sometimes when I'm talking with people online as well, where it's like, yeah, but it's like, you know, just it's, it's, it's an anime style game. It is an anime style game. Let's go to the, the Mondstadt uh, gates as well. Sorry for going on a little bit of a, a ranty rant. I literally just like, you know, I'm very passionate about it because I do feel like art style is something that is so important to me. And it's it's more important than a lot of things in video games to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And by art style being important, like, it's just... Man, like, I just want a game to look really pretty, have a distinct style, look interesting. That's all I want. And I will I will write about art style till the cows come home, so you'll have to stop me eventually. We still have to do a commission today, which is what we're going to do next. We raise our adventure rank. We're gonna have to level up artifacts. I know for a fact that like I'm gonna level up artifacts, and it's gonna someone's gonna say it's wrong. <laughs> I know I'm gonna level up some artifacts, and someone's gonna be like, uh, "Not that way." Please, not that way. Oh, there's some more dandelion. Yeah, actually, getting dandelion seeds actually wouldn't be very difficult. So maybe actually leveling up. No, Zhao is our main. He's our main guy. He's what we've been using since the beginning. We level up Zhao. And I hope it's been exciting for you guys Useless. to have, to see, because like, this is, now when I imagine like what would be fun about Genshin as well, there's a lot of stuff to be fun about watching Genshin. But for me, like, I, I love the idea of like, having to create, oh, they, oh, they don't respond a day later. Oh, no. This could be bad. It's okay though, we can deal with it. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. Uh, before we do our commissions, I want to buy some carrots. <laughs> I want to buy some. I want to buy some cards. I want to buy some. Wait, is there is there a mission here? Enter the castle. That's how I enter the castle. I climb through the thing. Diana's there, so that's a part of her mission, I guess. Yes, I'd like to buy some cards. Oh my god, you can just buy a bunch of cards. But these are just like extra- oh, so, oh, support cards, event cards. Wait, event cards? Hold on a second here, now. Dynamic skins. Purchase. An invitation letter, card back. Oh, you can change your card backs? That's so cool. Glazed lilies, we need a hundred glazed lilies. Card box? This is all insane. Oh my god, here we go. Wait, we don't even have enough! <laughs> Wait, these char characters you can actually like... I mean, we're not even level 5 yet. So I think we have to raise up our level a bit. Because then I'll get Klee and everyone's done. Look at all the characters here. Look at these art uh, art styles. There's Diana, Kaya, Shonyun, uh, Kamatsu Akai. Oh my god. T Child. Look at Sing Shu! Barbara. Charlotte. Chichi, who did Chichi? I, I drew a Chichi. Uh, that's really cool. This is a really cool design as well. Um, who's that? I'm only skip. Oh, Xiao card. We should get the Xiao card. Or a Sayu card. Nahida? Cool. We won't be buying cards just yet, though. We're going to do our commissions. Our daily commissions. Yes, yeah, someone then. Yes, yeah, someone has purchased a bunch of j uh, crystals from me again. First of all, we can do like five wishes on this. Actually, you know what we could do? Because we have 
I think they respawn in the shop now, don't they? I think they said it'll be today, or maybe it's not today. No, they said maybe it's a little bit sooner. So it just spawns in two days. What we might do is I might not spend my fates today, because then I can buy these. The the acquaint fates. And just like do ten wishes. You know, and it'd be it, it doesn't waste anything then. Apart from like Paimon's bargains. Um How'd I get there? Okay. So let's start off then by doing our little uh our little commissions. Our little commissions, uh wait. I thought we didn't have commissions for a second. I was like, oh god. <laughs> what is what has become uh of this? What's this one? Straight to the heart. We'll come from here, I guess? Beautiful. Look at this. Thank you for always proving my point. Someone said I have streamer luck when it comes to like Oh look at the look at you can see that in the distance as well. The the the, the dragon spine thing. Yeah, someone says I have streamer luck as well when it comes to like like time of day when I arrive at places as well that makes it look the most prettiest, and that's like, yeah, I probably do. Uh I'm not I I like it's so weird, you know, because I wouldn't call myself a streamer, but it is called streamer luck. I do on demand content just because I love on demand content. I don't like watching live streams. I've always been an on-demand type of guy, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I've always been that type of person. Sapphire this. Sapphire this. I, you got, I, I feel, I, apparently I did this before. <laughs> but I don't know what to do now. What is, like, what is this? Apparently I did this before, and I don't know what it is now. Adventure time, go and grab your friends. Oh yeah, we have like a level like 40 lion's roar now, or level 50 lion's roar. Which, you know, oh god, you okay, Benny? Yeah, Benny's Benny's fine. Benny's fine, so's Fischl. Eventually, I think Zingshu is gonna be fine as well very soon too. And Zingshu's gonna be able to be on the, on the same level as these guys. So it's actually not that big of a deal. You know, we can level, it's, it's actually not that scary. Leveling up characters is fun. But I think the next time we do a, a, an AR level, I think it's going to be a little bit harder. I think it's going to get much, much harder the next time we do an AR level. And also, like, the fact that we ha we've we only ascended a few characters and we haven't ascended some of these characters, you know, that we actually want, like, Fermin as well. But then again, that's going to take place later, so we don't have to worry too much. Straight to that. Oh, here we go. Let's light it up! By royal decree! <laughs> Whereabouts did they want us to go here? Over here. Okay, cool. And I feel like this one was always very simple because, again, once you kill those guys, you get like 30 seconds. I remember this one specific. Oh my god, they're like level 57 now. Here we go. It's fine, though. Again, we have a level 60 official. We have a level 60 Benny boy. We're doing more than fine. You know what I mean? Midnight Phantasmagoria. Whereabouts was it? Oh, it's up here? Oh my god, I thought it was the, the, the floating thing over here. I got mixed up. Challenge failed. It did, didn't it? It did fail. It, it failed so bad. It failed so bad. You know what the problem was? Fischl is our slowest character. No, it's not. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her go. 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 She don't care. Okay, we have to avoid these guys here because they are stinky. Believe it or not, a bit smelly. Would you agree? If you guys agree that they are a bit smelly? No honor among thieves. We also Oh, we have we have to kill those guys anyway, but let's do this one first though. Get our fastest runner out there. Any boy? Everybody stand back. Everybody stand back. Just an extra few seconds. Okay, it's over there. It's not that far. I feel like I was like overestimating how far away it was. It's not that far. Or maybe it is. In, I keep pressing the Dragon Zawa run button. I swear to God, man. That was pretty simple. And then we have to worry about these guys next.
I don't think it's- I think it's- the, I don't think it's these guys here. It might be just a different group of guys. All these guys just hang out here. You know what I have an irrational hatred for? That guy with the shovel who was shoveling stuff. Maybe just because his move is always like, what are you doing? <laughs> what- what do you think you're doing? I'm just shoveling dirt in your face. Everyone else has a cool move. What are you doing? I shovel dirt. They call me Dort Man. Dort Man? Dort, dort Man, I, I bring the Dort. Oh my god, this is like Batwoman looking down at you. Let's see how Lamentos with level 60, level 57 characters. He still does okay. You know what I mean? He still does alright. Not that bad. Actually, it doesn't do great at all, does it? He's gonna be he's gonna be level 60 like so soon, you kidding me? Good. Like it's not even funny. But look at this, let's see Benny Boy doing it. Hey, 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 let Benny Boy experiment. By royal decree. You know, you gotta let Benny Boy experiment. Wind, hear me. Look at that. You guys are getting rocked. Am I right, kids? When I say alright kids, I'm just thinking of SpongeBob. Oh wow. No, do no not do the dirt shovel! I shovel some doit. It's good for the whole family. I'm going in! Boring! Useless! Do not lament the dirt. Okay, here we go. See, no, it does do good damage. Some guys just have higher defense. It still does amazing damage. You know what I mean? Some guys just have higher defense than others. Now to DPS this guy. Who wants to DPS this guy? Let's all take turns. Okay. <laughs> well done. That was a that was a bit of an ordeal just because like it was we failed the first one, right? We would that we would now be way quicker if I didn't fail the first one. Next commission is going to be this one over here. We're walking through a haze. It's a crowded maze of apathy and rage. No, you can keep that fight. Don't need to fight that person. Don't need that at all. Let's drop down here. Hello, everyone. Have you eaten my achi? Midnight Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Oh no. Did you guys see this? This a guy's asking for a lament. He said, Lament me. And I said, I can't. It's so rude to ask for a lament off a person. Laments are for people who love people. Give me all your laments. That's my favorite song, actually. From High School Musical. My oh, I should watch his health. He just got I forget his health lowers down whenever he does that. Now you die. Don't come back up here. I would die. Did he not die? What? What do you mean? Barbados, guide us. What do you mean he didn't die? You mean he could he landed on the rock and was fine? Where'd he go? Right here. Yeah. Oh, please don't charge in. Everybody or dude. Back. I was lying. <laughs> oh, Official time. Let's Look at this, now your shield's on fire again. Hey, you weren't using a fire boy for I saw you using a water boy, that's why I brought my shield. <laughs> well, sorry about that, hun. Okay, you run down there. We'll deal with this guy over here. Yeah, we're gonna level our car like our characters will be leveled up by the next episode as well, which is like not Midnight that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, do you want to lament? Your breath is stinky. Get a lament. 
You gotta meet your girl from later, right? You gotta meet your gonna be Sally Mae later at the diner. You gotta be Sally Mae. That's another commission. Now there's one more commission to do, and then we're finished. Or oh, in like the ghost area, they never have commissions down here. Whoa, they never have commissions here either. What the hell? Interesting. Gene's outfit is so nice. Gene's outfit is so nice. Gene's outfit is so nice. Jeans have it is so nice. It's actually not bad of a not a bad walk over here, isn't it? Nice little stroll. I remember this place. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is why exploring is so important, guys. Like these type of locations, I remember them forever. So please take my hand as we explore more of monster. Oh, this is such cool locations. Look at this. My cat is going crazy outside. When she hears my voice, she just wants to hang out. I'll hang out with you later. Wind, hear me. Oh my god, I forgot the gene could do this. <laughs> no problem. Everyone get knocked down. Look at that. We're gonna knock him in the water. You, you play that sound as if it's scary. If we had Zing Shu, this is why we need Zing Shu. You know what? You know what we need to do? I think it's time for a lament. Was he sure this thing would go down so quickly? We still have oh okay, listen boys. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay? <laughs> I get your pain. I get it. Boys, I get it. Okay? Boys, I get it. Now leave me alone. Okay, that's all our commissions are for the day. Wow. And we get some cabbage and some food and some raw meat. You know, the hilly trolls are just doing their jobs. Living their lives. Story quest. Did we unlock? Oh, we unlocked uh, the Venti story quest. Get quest. I will get quest. And we can just do it. A child's secret. Um, nice. How cool. Man, the sunrise on the frickin' water. It's nice. It's really pretty. Okay, let's go get our uh, little yeah. stuff for our commissions. Our little commission thingies. <laughs> they should do Chainsaw Man, but remake it with Zhao. I think it's the only acceptable way they could make that show work in 2020. Thank what you year for is this? 2024? Ad Astra. Yes, I raised my adventure rank. Can I get my stuff? What did I get? That's actually pretty alright, in fairness. What's, when do I get some cool stuff? So the next adventure rank we have to is to four is forty so ten ranks up. 
Um, so I think we're gonna work on getting our items early. You know, just get, get them piece by piece. Claim all. Dispatch again. Go out there and do your job. That sounded very rude, but I just meant it in a kind of a very normal way. Um, okay, so today we're gonna do that story quest of Venti. I'm also planning on doing some dueling. Um, and then at the end, we're probably gonna ba battle that Geovish up again. So that's the plan for the day. Will we get everything done? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's also, though, wish on this banner again. Um, to try and get this albedo character. If we don't get him, uh, I'll blame you guys. If that's okay with you. We got a four star. I mean, that was, a, you know, normal to get a four star out of this. You're supposed to get a four star every time you wish. Oh wow, the stringless. Cool. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so to get an additional ten. We don't have 1,600 Pyro Gems. We need more Genesis Crystals. We can totally get that. We might as well do the 10 Wish again. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, if, if you ever give me this stuff, please always, like, put an intention in as well as to what you want me to use them for. Um, because, you know, people will be like, hey, I'm using these for Gene, I'm using these for these things or whatever. Um, I know, and, and tell me exactly the amount that you gave and stuff like this. Uh, because I, I always would hate to use them on something that, like, I understand, I know people can be like, well, Calvin, you, you know, they give you stuff, they probably want you to use them whatever you want. But also, like, I've, like, you know, when people are like, hey, wish on Nahida. It's like, okay, I will. You know, I, I want you to get Xiao. Yeah, I've wanted Xiao. Of course, let's get wish on Xiao. Um, I know someone said they were going to give crystals next week for, uh, <laughs> for a character I didn't even know. Um, so what I might do is I might hold off on using the rest of these crystals just in case that's what it was. And then I'd feel absolutely terrible. Um, if not, <laughs> we'll see. We'll hold off a bit. Um, the, only, uh, the only thing is, is like, I don't think we're going to get Albedo. We have four days left. Now, I will be playing this game again in a few days, so. But by then. Will the episode, yes, the episode would have come out. Yeah. Look, whatever. Look, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll deal when the time comes. Uh, what else do we have to unlock here? We have achievements. Let's claim all these. Claim them all. Claim all these achievements. Show my dad that I could do stuff in this world. Uh... Nice. And... Then we have... Um, with this stuff here, wait, what, what are they, what are they, what are they, what do you want from me? Oh, they want me to level up, why would I level up these characters? Why would I send, uh, Amber, I love you. I know we can send you as well, but why? <laughs> She's fantastic. Such a great design. Um, so we can also level up artifacts. So, first of all, I think what we're looking at then is to level up the artifacts of characters who aren't um, already good. So, auto add. And then... So, you need, like, items that are like this to level them up. Wait, can we not just keep auto adding? Wait, settings. Disable. No, just auto add. Um, we can go two star materials and under, I guess. Am I doing this right? I'll level them up all to level, like, seven. Enhance. Enhance. 
Or like level 5, I guess. And I'll do this now, right? And then you guys can say if I did it right. I think that's the best way to do it, right? Jesus Christ, our HP actually went up a lot. Am I right in saying that? Like, that's actually a big upgrade. What the hell? Maybe we can enhance this stuff as well. Crit damage up. Crit damage up. Crit damage up. To plus six. So this 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 could be right, right? This could be very right. Like this is this is gonna be like insane. Yeah, we'll do it like this. And you know, I'm sure you guys will let me know if that was the way to do it. And I think it's the easiest way for me than just being like looking up Google and getting accidentally spoiled by something, you know? I think it's the easiest way for me. So where's Venti's story quest? There it is, a child's secret. In Mondstadt. Look at us running. Look at us, just such a good runner. You know what I mean? Such a good runner. I can't- are we gonna get to talk to Venti again? Head to a certain spot, the animal god- in the animal god statue plaza. Sansa, how are you? Oh god, it's Luke. I said don't cross this border, it's my border. My mom says I don't want to play with you if I don't want to. Luke, I'm gonna play with you someday. You can't avoid me forever. You can't, my mom says you're not allowed past the line. Not allowed past the flower pots. I, Luke, someday you're gonna have to play tag the proper way. I always play tag the proper way. No, 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 no. Every time you get caught, you say your leg is sore. Every time you get caught, you say your leg is sore. And you run, and you say, I'm not playing no more. And then when all of a sudden, when you, you're not on anymore, you're playing again, your leg is better. My leg is sore, it flares up sometimes. Luke, you are the worst. You are the worst, Luke. You are, I'm getting my mom. What's wrong? Mom, <laughs> I don't think Jean's old enough to be a mom. <laughs> to be Xiao's mom. Xiao's like 5,000 years old or like 400 years old. Oh, there's the killer again. Hey, look over there! Oh, voice acting. I forget for the story because you have voice acting. She's all by herself, right? But she's doing a little dance here. Because she's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Uh, Paimon's creeped out. What? You mean, you used to act like that too? Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? Uh... <laughs> Is invisible. I guess it's in your imagination means imaginary. Imagination, imaginary. Oh, you must mean imagined friend, right? Why didn't you just say so? So this imaginary friend of yours. When does Paimon get to meet them? We uh, don't hang out anymore. Seriously? <laughs> so imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? I think there's a psychological aspect to this that I'm not strong enough to, or not good enough to talk about, but yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm almost looking forward to meeting yours. Hey, don't suppose your sister has an imaginary friend too? She does. No way! You guys are so lucky! Because they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. Oh, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. My boy! <laughs> How are ya? <laughs> oh, tone deaf bard. What are you doing here? So excited to see him again. <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. Heck yeah. <laughs> Why does the thought of Lisa's 
contraptions make Paimon so nervous. Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. Oh, wow. D dangerous A monocle equipped with some sort of detector? Looks like a regular monocle to me. <laughs> I know, right? Apparently, though, it's called an Ernama detector. Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while. And also, I'm testing it out for her to see if it actually works. Huh? Why can't Lisa use it? Hmm. Perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So you can see them? Go on, tell us. What does his imaginary friend look like? So like he can actually like, because I guess he's the, the, the god of this land? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> the voice acting is so perfect. Anyway, it's all yours now, traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Sure. Oh my god, that's a Do ghost. You Do you see him? <laughs> yeah, it seems like they're best friends. That's a ghost. Huh, so it does work for you too. It's so weird because it's been so long since you heard his voice. So long. Paimon wants to see. Like Wait, at least like episode but ten or something. Gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. All right then, you just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go. <laughs> everyone's imaginary. This is the quest. Like. We're gonna see what everyone's imaginary friend looks like. But it's so good to see Venti again. You should be trapped in the. Should you be trapped in the windless land? It's so good to see Venti again. Yeah, from the flower shop, we seems kind of. Are you serious? Oh, I taught you to help with the lady who works there. I think it's the child who also works in the flower shop. I actually thought it was there. Get off the roof! No, I'm not. I'm not past the flower beds. It's so cool that you can just see people walking around here and just going about their daily business. So good to be back in Mondstadt. I can do anything I want. I am the captain of the Knights of Phonius. I can do what I want. Casual wear. Yeah, like this is. I I literally thought they were talking about um the lady who worked here. There it is. Behold, what? <laughs> a floaty imaginary friend for. Oh, I guess they are Flora. um living. A floaty floaty. And Venti just Venti just coming with us. This is a journey with Venti. Wait, imaginary friends can be plants now. <laughs> Hi, Traveler. Hi, Bard. Hi, Flora. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Hi, have you got a minute? Sure. How can I help? Who's your friend? She's a very, like... Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most yeah, people can't see him. I can see him. Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. <sighs> no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. <laughs> I mean, kids are weird like that. You know, kids are like, I always want to be friends with a bookcase. <laughs> you know, they do that stuff. Friends with a flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. That is true. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Could be friends with a bird too. Isn't that called being blown away? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's not flying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. It's so weird to see Venti again, guys. I'm sorry. I think his name was uh, Stanley. Oh, Stanley. Not someone I know. Do I know Stanley? Stanley's an adventurer. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. Sure. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But, uh, right now we have other things to do. <laughs> next attend. time on the Veggie Show. <laughs> Veggie's like, no. Is a pretty mysterious Timmy? kid. Which child shall we interrogate next? All of them. Paimon's thinking. <laughs> oh, how about that little guy on the bridge? I forgot that, like, 
Venti is like so crazy as well that he kind of matches Paimon's energy. So we have this thing now where um, we're uh, we're like we're not stop. We now do one of a character where this is like stopping us from doing crazy stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> of course, Timmy. No way! Well, uh, that is unexpected. <laughs> the way he said that is like when a kid tells you, like, you know, I want to kill the innocent. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell your mommy. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin guard? Um, I've heard of guardian angels, but come on. Look, Timmy's like, what do you want? Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. But it's imaginary, right? Uh, what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. Paimon, say, Paimon, it's time to say the line. What is it? Huh? Paimon has a favorite line? The one about exploring ahead of us later? Seriously? <laughs> oh, alright then. How about we explore the area? I don't think I've heard her say this once. Children are more open minded. Is that why they can think of all kinds of imaginary friends? Drop in on the adults in the tavern? Fitting, isn't it? That the city of freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. True. What about adults' imaginations? Oh, Jesus, it got what stuck on the thing there. Some adults at the tavern? It's so cool having a party of four main characters now that we can, like, be all of them now. We, we used to never be able to run away on the missing person poster, yeah. Looking for some young female who has blonde hair, wears exotic clothes. Any information assistance is greatly welcomed. Please report to the Outrider Amber with any information you might have. So, I, yeah, Amber's still looking for our, um, our sister. We put a poster. I say, I say if we looked, we could probably find posters around, um, Leeway now. Who are we talking to? Wait, what? But it's not up here. I said drop into the tavern. Is this not the tavern? Bro, see you later. Bro, I got stuff to do. I just still love Venti's Next time, we'll do that next time. <laughs> Wait, oh, it's over here? Oh, oh my god. What? The look, oh look, boyfriends. Oh my, sorry, ado adopted brothers apparently? <laughs> I forgot about that. Half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused even if you drank alone. I don't know if there's like a war about who's cooler. Deluke is like way cooler. <laughs> Maybe if Kai- people said if I change Kaya's outfit, he looks way cooler in the new outfit. So you might see if that's the case. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Is Deluke being deliberately uncivil? Who are you talking about? Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? This is like so like... I don't know, like, I love you coded. Like in terms of- and, and it, it could be I love you in any form by the way, I'm not here to get involved in your little wars. <laughs> with what is what and what is what, I mean like, this is so like, like they get each other coded. Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out father's legacy. Father's? You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you've forgotten. So this is how I would have found out that they were related in some way, right? I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. You just uh, sold the mansion right for under them? so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry. I have no recollection. I thought he'd be the type of guy to say Vaz. Look at look at Venti just sitting. <laughs> Venti, that's not how you eavesdrop. You don't just stare at the back of someone's head. That's odd. Master Diluc, I'm sure I saw such a vase in your home. A beautiful one. Unmistakable, in fact. Palad, why are you getting involved? Do not get involved in drama like this. Oh my god, Diluc has an imaginary friend named Kaya. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Well, I think that's the best definition you could have with Deluke and Kaya. They're both imaginary friends at this stage. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. 
Seems adults are the same everywhere. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon, for one, never wants to grow up. All hens have to grow up someday. Hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? Let's go and check. Let's go and check. I, th th is the voice acting a tiny bit different? I don't know if it is, but... um. Hmm. How about Ellen? Someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? Sure, let's go. Uh-oh. Somehow Paimon brings the idea of not being able to see Ellen's imaginary friend kind of scary. Maybe. Um, I love hanging out with Venti though. I just love the way he's like eavesdropping us. So yeah, first of all, before we do anything here, um, some people see, I want to check out this because someone did say this, and I'm willing to check it out and be a man of my word about this. That Kaya's actually the outfit makes him look cooler than his other. Yeah, yeah, one. I think so, 100%. It makes him look way cooler. Like I'd use this character, but I don't like using this. And maybe it is because like, I don't know what it is, but like this is way cooler. Um, some people said the Luke's outfit is really cool. This outfit's way cooler than this one. The original outfit is way cooler. Look at that, compared to this. No. I'm sorry, but no. And I get it, you like it, that's cool. This, to me, is so much cooler. A low ponytail is always nicer. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And it's the same with, like, this, this here is, like... Way better than this one, but the, the I would miss the witch's hat. Um, the barber outfits that's a really nice outfit, they're, they're all very nice. Uh, we bought the sea breeze dandelion one. Uh, yeah, yeah, who's this? We don't have this character, do we? I mean, we do. Um, yeah, totally, totally get. By the way, when someone said this, this looks way better. 100%. Look at that. I didn't remember who Ella was. Ellen, I mean. What? <laughs> no. Jean? What is Jean doing here? That's, um... Her imaginary friend. Is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? Ellen is a conscientious child. Ellen's really turned to become a knight. I guess that makes sense because she just said she wanted to be a knight of, a knight of Vivonius before. Yeah, she's so conscientious. It's terrifying. <laughs> to, but like to have Jean, I have Jean as my imaginary friend too in my party. Hmm? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Should we be like, how's Jean? Are you always training here? We always see her here, yeah. You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Yeah, I believe she succeed. Like if you're if you're Jean's not a bad person to look up to in fairness. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honor sure. of the night. Would you join me for some That's sword be really training? Fun. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Wait, do we have to do them all at once or Everybody step so that's how to do it. <laughs> you, need, you need a vision. <laughs> you need a vision, girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're still buffing. It's we're I'm buffing I you, Ellen. a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. <laughs> well, I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, Hilly Churl. Okay. Ugh, thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here, I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. 
I can hardly move. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? Sure. He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion. Oh, so we're going to do a temple. Today. No, no, that's the... Is that Stanley's not the... a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Monster. We heard about him before, right? He once set foot in the Mare Javari. We were going to meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> Could you let him know it'll Tem have to be another Temple of day? Leon. Sure, I missed the place. Is that the church? Great. Thank you so much. Is that actually just a church up here? I think it is. No, is it? Let me check. No, it's not. It's a dungeon. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. Like, this is, a, this is a nice little church. It's so long since we've been to this place, at the very least. This guy's a side quest. We'll deal with that later. We're doing something right now. Adventure time. We'll deal with it later. Do a Paimon on it and deal with it later. Oh, there's like a guy. Okay, we'll get this guy as well. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, it's really cool that they're doing this, like, little weird little mission. And I think it perfectly fits Venti and Paimon's personalities. Like, I genuinely feel that they, like, you know, are always at end odds with each other. But they, um, are really, really good at, like, you know, fighting with each other. But they are very similar in terms of their, like, um, outward craziness. I think Paimon's just, like, we have to control Paimon's craziness a bit better. Um, so that's just it, though. Where's the other one? They're, they're usually very, like, these are actually very easy to find. They, they're very nice with this stuff here. Where is this now? Um, this usually very easy to find. Today, no. Like, usually they don't, they don't hide them. Oh, there's one. Yeah. They, in, in fairness, they don't hide them. That wasn't hidden. Wait, what? Okay, hold on a second here now. Yeah, they don't. They, they they're very nice with that stuff. There's quality here. We've almost raised an adventure rank already. Did they save your adventure rank stuff until you've? They might have saved your adventure rank stuff. We probably didn't even need to raise the adventure rank. But then again, we have a story quest going on. And it forces us to, 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 to level up our artifacts. Look at that. Look at that power. That's one hit, man. By royal decree. We already, we actually, this is one of the first dungeons we ever did. I think it was the one we, this is the one Lisa was waiting outside. Level 58, man. We're below the level, but we can do this. <laughs> and we gotta meet Stanley. The Temple of the Lion. Oh, we gotta use Ventises too? We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the storm terror incident. He's so fast with the bow. It seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. We didn't bag all the loot. Looks like we can't go <laughs> any Sorry further. Sorry for Paimon, but of course she's thinking about the loot. Not to worry. Allow me. Those who wander in the dust. Can the Venti do this? Can we? Oh my god, how do we get Venti? <laughs> Venti can make a wind current? That changes the game. That would literally break open the game completely. That will literally break open this game. At least it's not like a Bennett story where we, we're gonna have to like do ten things to try and get through one thing and the little puzzle that could fail and this other thing. We get to it here then. Is it just, oh, because we can make it current? Yeah, of course. Just the thing that they have telling us, hey, to do it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, it's over here. Wow. Excuse me, guys, one second. Just get these boxes. I'm sorry. His the way he the way he moves is so good. Okay, I guess we'll go with this. Imagine you can't see exactly behind the wall, but you can see what's happening.
Like you can see just about right behind the wall. Like something's happening behind there, over there, but you can't exactly see. But you know your your best friends are getting destroyed. Think you can get away? What is? What is like, oh my god! I need venti. Oh, <laughs> the smile. <laughs> <laughs> the, the no brain cell smile. <laughs> He's great. He's absolutely great. Get some raw meat in our in our in our life as well. We actually, I think we have some pretty good characters now. I think all of our characters are pretty good. Hey, are those guys? Let's light it up! Yeah, and we just have to melt this then. Who died? Zhao died ultra force. I keep I have to that's my one problem. I'm constantly not watching Zhao's health. What? Oh, these guys are destroying me. Everybody stand back! Why do they never miss? Cause this game this game is petty. Come back to what? Oh, he got like, hit right as we like, we, we brought him back. Okay, listen. You need to stop. By royal decree. <sighs> Time for takeoff. Is that all it did? Midnight, fantastic. So it's gonna take a while to, to bring back those other guys back from the dead. There's nothing we can do about that. Oh, there he is anyway. He's, he's right here, I think. I think we did meet this guy before. It's been so long, though. Yeah, these are the guys. I was so sure I was about to die. Oh, that's Jack. We know Jack for sure. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan <laughs> right in the end of this dungeon. Together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me. And then had to rescue me. Again, like, these story missions always have these twists and turns. You never know what's going to happen with these. I don't see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> it was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. <laughs> Stanley, you better stop it. Oh, you are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? <laughs> <laughs> the very same. Renowned enough to get trapped in the corner. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Still can't go over a good Vendi's outfit is. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? Stanley, what do you think? Jack, what do you think? Well, that's Jack. I think we should keep going. With Stanley by our side, we'll have no problem. <laughs> it's not that we have like a, a four c characters have amazing visions. Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. I love his voice. It's so adorable. So, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Uh, Am yeah. I right? Sure. No, we really were just looking for Jack. <laughs> what? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, <laughs> renowned adventurer of Mondstadt. I love it, like... Yeah, I think we got that. Veti's been very... Veti's is such a lovely person. Or Archon. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley who braved the magic army. Enough already. Ugh. That name... Paimon has had enough as well. Paimon has had enough. It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. Well, I was like, Jack will listen, won't you? Where was it? You and your partner reached the Mare Javari, a famously terrible place with not a wisp of wind. So Jack is like loving listening to these stories. There was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us, as far as the eye could see. The Mare Javari. 
certainly. My partner was caught Did you listen to this whole story? Whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow. So, did he make it? Exactly. In the end, I alone was able to set foot on home grail once more. I'm trying to listen to the story, but also at the same time we're getting, you know, attacked. So it's kind of hard. This is such a cool move by Venti. Actually insane. Death. You can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventure. You can, you cry all you want. Don't tell Jack not to cry. I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. God. But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die I don't want. I I, I want to keep listening to this just in case anything comes up. Spirit carried back to Mondstadt on the wind. That's that's the key. Yeah. Okay. okay. Although the most I can aspire to right okay. now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing out the slimes, clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep Hopefully Venti has like a that? better explanation of it as well. Hmm. Is that why Stanley thinks the Mayor Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? And again, they are very attuned to Monster, but we have the, you know, the Animo Archon with us, who is all about wind. She's back. She's back. But honestly, we need to keep better out here for a second. Off we go. Um, because we need to. Be, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We need to uh, get him in a, 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 a state in which he can heal people. Adventures. We have two healers on our team, which is actually very good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very happy to have... What? I have failed you. That's the adventure rank getting higher. And people are like, Come on, raise your... Raise your... You know. I'm pretty sure people would be like, Really okay if you're not raising my adventure rank. Gino, I... I'm Gino. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to talk about what moves are fun and what aren't. I think we should not have moves like that. Oh my god. We might die here. Because these juggler moves. Now go get him. Benny, come back to life right now. Benny, come back to life right now. Look what happened. That's a swirl. This is our only hope, Lament. Yeah, like, literally, like, we raised our adventure rank, so things are gonna get a little bit harder. Um, obviously they're gonna get harder. Um, we just have to, like, one of the things I have to do is... What? What was hit- what was hitting me at this- was it the fire thing hitting me at the same time? I'm really just not- I just need to pay attention to their health more. That's all that needs to happen. I swear to God, if you form your shield again... It'll be the Endia. The Endia. Yeah. I believe I've made a small discovery. I know I could have done those fights better. Um, I think I was more casual because for a while we were a bit more casual because we were able to destroy things so easily. We just have to adapt more again and come back into that state of like, you know, being good at combat again. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? Oh wait, does he have an imaginary friend? Is Stanley? Wait, who's that? Young Stanley? <laughs> does he have an imaginary friend that's Stanley as well? What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? No. It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. It, so that's what he feels like he is, yeah. Oh, you thought so too, huh? Yeah, you were you were you were calling him out. Look at the little corset he wears as well. Look at this. I agree. He wasn't telling the whole story. Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. <laughs> I gotta I gotta go home. I left the kettle on. Bye, Stanley. <laughs> okay. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. Is this, in, is this important to us? The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. 
they were none other than those once wielded Vanessa. by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The one who took back the and made things more peaceful between the aristocrats and the, and the shield common of folk. magnificent honor. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dada Upa Gorge. Where's, where's Dada, Dada Dupa Gorge? Oh, Dapa Dupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? I mean, we can, but like, why did he abandon them in the wild? I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Yeah, man, I don't care if you give him back. Aww, poor Jack. Let's help him out. I to say no after a sob story. Let's just say all right then. We don't want to be mean. You coming too? Hmm, I don't know. No, come on with us, please. I don't want to leave you yet. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help <laughs> me find these weapons, and it's Bendy's all yours. Then he's a wine drinker. Uh, uh, Dada Upa Gorge, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurry. There's no time to lose. He's a bad man. Oh, Stanley's listening in. He's a crook. Take off the beard. Maybe he's gonna go find him for we. Yep. Yeah. And like, look, we'll just be more careful next time, guys. Like, I really feel like that's the reason why we we're, we're kind of like destroyed her. Uh, but also, like, I really think it's hilarious that um, Venti um, is a, a wine drinker. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. It kind of makes sense. He seems like the type of person to wind down with a bit of wine. Uh, but it doesn't seem like he's winding down. Seems like he's really into wine. Let's go. We have all the characters back. So we have, we can only continue to, go, to continue the quest. We have to go to the marker. See, we're still able to defeat these guys, of course, like level 52. Jesus Christ. But yeah, we're gonna level up our characters some more. And again, like I said, the only reason why we really like got destroyed in those battles here was literally just because um, we're so used to like having characters just, just rip apart um, other enemies like butter. Um, that we really, you know, haven't been paying as much attention. Maybe we have, I think we have been trying to dodge a bit more, but I think there we're kinda like, oh, these are low-level enemies, we don't need to worry about this too much. And it's it was our it was our downfall. It was our downfall in the end. So we're about to are these items over here? And also I guess it is a different team that we're used to, but then again we can't like, you know, we use we use our boy um Ben a lot. You know, regardless of whether we use Sing Shu. We use Sing we use Sing Shu a lot more, but like we use Ben a lot too. I just realized we're gonna have to like fight those Geo Bishops. They're gonna be way harder now to level up our characters. We should have leveled up our characters first. Okay, whatever. You know, <laughs> life hey, goes on. That bunch of hilly churls. Are they holding some kind of ceremony? You know what I mean? You can't you can't cry over spilled milk ever. Are they yeah, you can see it drops down our health. That's why we died with it with him as well. We have to watch his health or anything. He's our star player. And we can't just like take him for granted. Let's light it up! Everybody stand back! Wind, hear me! Because, like, the thing is, like, we could, like... We can defeat any boss in this game with any amount of characters and any group of characters. But I don't want to take, like, the idea that, you know, we have Xiao and he has been so good for, for, with us. And I feel like he is our star player. Like, look at that. And we get the weapons. Is Venti still here? He is. 
Lo and behold, the sword of brilliant valor. to Paimon, and a little worse for wear, too. Why would hilly trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? It's probably special to them. Uh, uh, seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> hmm. Say, Jack, have you ever seen an Animo crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. I know he's like a god, but his voice is so adorable. <laughs> if you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. Excellent recovery? You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. <laughs> He's so now mischievous, we really. That shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dado Upa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? There's somebody there! Yeah, we know. We, he's not very good at hiding, is he? He's, he didn't say he was the, the, the greatest hider of all time. Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves pass by is all. He's so like, he's like, again, he's like almost like a, I don't know how to describe him. He's like a chaotic good is probably the best way to describe him. Um, but I like Venti a lot. He can, he can, and he's lying for a good reason as well. You know? What? Where? I, I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Yeah. This is a fun little mission as well because, again, like... Venti's obviously, like, a type of character who's not, like... He's a very good person. We saw how he's connected to, um, Storm Terror... Not Storm Terror, right. Devalin. We saw how he was, like, connected to Monset as well. And how free... A free soul he is, really. Um, but I also like how he does have his own motivations, you know? <laughs> he does have his own, like, ideals. And it's fun to hang out with him again. <laughs> so we have to seek the shield of magnificent <laughs> honor. So it's probably up here, then? <laughs> I mean, we can check this whole area. <laughs> We're just trying to make this guy feel better at this point, I think. Does he mean in that chest, maybe? Because he did talk about the crystal uh, flies, didn't he?
maybe. I mean, like, you know, we might as well get it anyway. It's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna be in a common chest either, though, is it? <laughs> it's not gonna be in there. Um, I mean, just check the whole circle is all we can do. Maybe it's over there? Okay, what happened? See, tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. You did something, and now you look with Jared. Now you're two pieces of pile of meat, pile of meat, pile of meat on the ground. Tell me what happened. Oh, here it is? You have the shield? Oh, he's pretending it's that shield? No way. Lo and behold, no. <laughs> shield of magnificent honor. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> The rivalry is still my favorite thing. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? True, yeah. But if you, if you, I mean, Venti, if anyone can sell a pot lid as a freaking uh, legendary shield, it's Venti. Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of honor? I agree with Venti. I agree this is a shield. Venti is on top form today. <laughs> That's probably what I'd say. I'll agree. Like, maybe I agree. This is shield. We'll, we'll go, Venti. We'll you go, Venti. You have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the Shield of Magnificent Honor for free. Ahem. <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Hilly Mr. Churl, of course. Hilly Churl? <laughs> he just said, look, <laughs> what is it? Well, okay, you take it from here. Hope you've picked up some hilly trillium by now. Vin plata da da. There's always body language. Yeah, true, true. Masimita. Oh, we can make friend. Oh my god, we can make friendship with the hilly troll. Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Please take this hilly troll mask I stole. Gucha poopa gucha, eh? Do we say something bad? Appreciate that. Veggie sing song, you give shield, okay? Man, you need Oh, God. Uh -oh. He did not oh, cute in a pleasure? No, no, your mother. Oh, no. We ticked him off big time. Oh, now we have to kill him to get the shield. I don't know, man. I was just trying my best. Try my best. <laughs> I failed clearly. So I guess if we asked him, maybe if we had Veggie sing him a song, it could have probably worked out and we could have had his song. I just thought it'd be so funny to try and keep. I thought I was picking up stuff from Ella, you know? Adventure time. Let's light it up. Please, give us the shield now. Be a dumb. Be a dumb. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, yeah. He dropped the shield of magnificent honor and ran. He's just like, hey, just Guys, take it. Thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. I don't know if they're actually like they're obviously not real. Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found. Mom, Dad, where's your mom and dad? Wait. Hey, wait! The wine you promised. <laughs> uh, I actually helped a lot this time. <laughs> I actually helped a lot this time. I literally said I actually helped. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here, Stanley? 
out for a stroll. Venti's so mischievous. Also, Venti has Jean's pants. So they must be Knights of Veronia's pants. They're like the tights. <laughs> the leggings. Uh, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You, um, uh, out for a stroll too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. I'm starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. I'm certainly starting to think so, too. He's definitely a fraud. No, yeah, he for sure is. Not a, like, he's definitely, like, not as... shield yeah. here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers Probably. Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. you fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. I bet. Wow. Then I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichurls. I, uh... I'll get back to my, um... Uh, stroll now. Goodbye. Guilty conscience, much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? I mean, Venti. I feel like Venti is just being his mischievous self, though, as well. And honestly, he did. He did kind of lie, but I guess he did it for Jack's sake. Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. So you're gonna keep going with him without the wine? Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder. If such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. Yep. Love, love hanging out with Venti. Absolutely love it. We're almost adventure rank 37 as well. So you have to go there between 6 and 11 o'clock. Let's, let's fast forward the time right away. But then again, a fast travel might fast forward it forward a bit more. So maybe 1750, 1724? So then like when we fast travel there, it might... I don't know if fast travel extends the time out. It could. Wait for... No, we would you just fast forward the time a bit more? Let's stop being picky about this stuff. 1820. We'll, be, we'll, we'll give we'll give him 20 minutes to, to prepare. Oh yeah, did you see I have a new picture for my profile? <laughs> did you guys like it? You like my new picture for my profile? Adventure time. Man, I'd love to have Venti on the team. That'd be fantastic. We already have two like fantastic animal characters. So there, there's that. But like I feel like his, he was so smooth. Like smooth as silk to use. So smooth as silk. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong button there, but hey, look, it's okay. Enter the tavern. Stanley, the adventure is here. Again, we're just like. <laughs> I don't think you guys know how to eavesdrop, but it's really cute. It's really cute. It's really cute. Tell Whenever we get, like. Tell me what should I do? Oh, the other side. That's actually really heartbreaking. But, like, what's cool about, like, Venti is that, like, we always get up to this mischief together. Like, he's always very active in his in his quest, you know? Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? Because he's his imaginary friend. I think, he, I think he genuinely is just, like, talking to, like, you know, himself about all this stuff. Could there be another person called Stanley? Oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Miljabari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why, Stanley? Why? If only you hadn't had to Wait. save a rookie like me. Wait. You would have never died in that windless corner. Is he pretending to be Stanley? You were a renowned adventurer. Destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never Jesus, happen. Jesus, man. Because so your life was cut short. And all because of a worthless tag along. I wonder if that's why he's trying to help, um... 
the boy so much. His boy. Um, Jack is. I, I, I'm so. I'm blank on the name is already, which is terrible. What's going on here? I think. I think he's like talking I to think the ghost our friend of. Really did make it to the main yeah. Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner. Not yeah. Him. That's actually a, a really crazy revelation, especially when we're talking about imaginary friends this whole time. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he's I think there's something. De Deluxe out in the background there, by the way. I think there's something deeper going on here. There's definitely some mental problems happening here and some trauma from losing, uh, from feeling like he's the reason that Stanley died. I fear that may be the case. Stanley, for so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mondstadt will forget all about you. So I tell your adventure stories at every opportunity. Mondstadt must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madrivari. He's the greatest adventure there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because. So he wanted I am to leave on him. It's, it is. Very, it's not healthy, though. It's definitely not healthy. I'm Stanley. I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. Nah. It's mad. It's actually crazy. Are you guys planning on these dropping much longer? Yeah, we, we we're not we're very obvious. Yikes! We're busted. I love that Deluxe is in the background, by the way. Sorry, Stanley. I mean, we were just curious. Go away. Save your questions. And just leave me in peace. But. Leave now. Don't make me tell you again. Honorary Knight, Venti, and Paimon. I'm so glad you guys are here. I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. No. My parents are finally <laughs> supporting me. Look, uh, this is this is it's so heartbreaking that this is built on a lie, but you know, I guess we that's not what we can do. Uh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're gonna pay for someone to fix up the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Oh and wow! Magnificent honor for me. <laughs> oh, so I can that's take actually them adorable. Out the road. That's wonderful. So, Jack, is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? No, not yet. I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> They're what inspired me to become an adventurer in the first place. Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. Again? We'll see you tomorrow then. After your hangover wears off, maybe you can tell me some more of your stories? Stanley's really fond of that kid, don't you think? Uh, Jack. Jack. Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him. This is actually Lucky. such a crazy ending to this, by the way. This is insane. Because, I get, again, like, again, I think it's so cool that we went from imaginary friends, and of course we're gonna be like, oh, it's an imaginary friend. The way they built it up was really well done. To find out that it's actually just a load of trauma built up in this character, this game gets is a lot more serious than it's given credit for. Huh? All of a sudden, you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Just now, I couldn't bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure, unblemished. Just a weary old feckless frog. But that kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams yeah. to be crushed. Yeah, no, I can. That's that's. I think that's why we thought he was going as, as well. Mm, you're not a 
portal fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and That's so sad that he's like telling all the stories as well true, as if they're his own. Stories, experiences, what's the point of them anymore? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley, they're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all, and my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story, but his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land. Oh where his man, yes. Can never be recovered. All that remains is this imaginary friend. His whole life has he's been drowning in guilt. Exactly. Even in yeah, his it's memory, hard. The real Stanley I didn't expect a Venti quest to get this heavy, man. I just I thought we were gonna have a like, little romp through the whole, you know, the the wind the windful lands of Mondstadt again. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle scarred warrior. Yeah. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go, but still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No adventurer should have to go that way. No adventurer. Oh, it's so difficult, man. Especially since, like, we're like, you know, if you can contrast it to us and Venti as well, like, we were going on this fun adventure together just for the fun of it. And unearthing something so serious, it's like, yeah, people take this so seriously. Hans Archibald. Is that his name? My true name? How did you know? He's the freaking god of this place. Oh my wind. god. I can hear the wind blowing in the mare. Oh. Sorry. So sweet. I always Oh my god. You existed. Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? No, that's so sad. I mean, it's beautiful at the same time. Like, it's so good that he's doing this for them. Jesus Christ. No. No. That was so beautifully done. I, I, I can't believe And now the weight that must be lifted off this character. It was so beautifully done. Thank you all. And thank you, Lord Barbados. Like, and I guess he didn't really think it was... I guess not everyone knew what Venti looked like. Because I guess I, I just assumed that, like, he would know it was him. But he didn't know it was him. And to reveal himself at that time was just perfect. That's like, um... I don't know. It was really beautiful. Really, really pretty. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me some time to come back. I mean, <laughs> dude, you just had your friend pass on. But I think that I'm going to be okay. Ah, oh, wonderful. Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally just... go his own way. Sorry, Vandy, I need a second to just think about that, like just to take this in, like how beautiful that scene was. And again, I didn't expect this from the Venti story quest. Not to say that I didn't think Venti was a serious character, but like... To just have that moment there and that, like, it was really special. It was really, really special. This calls for a celebration. And by celebration, I do Of course, he loves the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> of course. It's so beautiful. Such a beautiful moment. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? <laughs> Everyone needs hobbies. <laughs> No, the wine here is too expensive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. So you would let him get his, uh... Let him get his wine. Huh? Where's that supposed to be? Why has Paima never heard of it? Hey, Tone Death Bard! <laughs> okay, see you there. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love feeding into the rivalry 
um, between Paimon and... Because it's a friendly rivalry. That was such a beautiful moment, though. Like, how they were able to do this. I think it's up near the church then, up by the statues. Um, really gorgeous. And, like, it's hard for me to, like, you know, to put into, to put into words all the time, like, how I feel about certain scenes like that. Because, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of games don't have those scenes. Um, but it started off... Imaginary friends. We were just having a nice little fun time. We then, you know, had to save Jack, which again was just for a favor for Ellen. And just like in everything in Genshin, it gets more serious as time goes on. And there's still some beautiful outcome in the end where we care about the characters that we love already even more. Um, I'm so glad we got to spend this time with Venti. Such a beautiful character. I hope we get to unlock him someday. That would be the dream. That would be the dream. To have an all animo uh, team. <laughs> no, just three animal characters and Fermine. Who knows how that will work, but it will work. At the foot of the goddess statue, isn't it? Oh! Up high! <laughs> oh, he's just sitting up there! Venti! 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 Someone's gonna try and look up! Okay, he has shorts on. It's fine. Venti, it's fine. <laughs> He has shorts on. I'm just trying to look out for you. You know, you're a princess, Venti. No, look at that. That's so adorable, sitting in the hands. He's such an adorable, adorable, adorable character. This is a god, by the way. Oh! Venti, I almost died getting up here. Okay? I almost died getting up here. Look at this. Look at this image. Wait, can we, like... I wish they could take off the quest marker so I could take a picture. And I Oh, we can. We can do this. Look at this. So cool. So cool. <laughs> Do we almost trip again? He's beautiful. You made it. Finally. Finally? I, I didn't take that long, did I? Just tell us where you meet next time, okay? We <laughs> looked everywhere. No, we didn't. I knew exactly where it was. <gasps> so... Did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Uh, well, sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. <laughs> like, getting a bottle of wine and then immediately coming up here? Not a good sign. When actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. Oh. <laughs> by that I mean, by the way, like, I, I know it sounds bad. What I meant is more just like, you're coming up to that usual spot where you like, drink and get depressed and stuff. <sighs> this takes me back. Look how beautiful this is! I wish it was in- no, you know what? Not night time's good too. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. It was about 2600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. At that time, old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Old monster? It seems like there's like a very... Oh, Paimon remembers! Nowadays it's known as Stormtrooper's yeah. Lair, right? Yeah, but it seems like there's a, there's a pattern here with with some of these lands where like the, 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 the you know, there's keeping people out. Like they don't want there to be like a thing where like, hey, you know, this is my land. You know, we want people to be a certain way to hear the same thing we're talking about in, uh, is it Sumeru or Inazuma that we're going to next that they, I think it's Inazuma, right? That's right. The tyrant of the winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, god of storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the thousand winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind, a gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better, or tiny seeds I of- I cannot get over how good this looks, I'm sorry, Venti. A tiny elemental being? Without a human form? Venti, do you mean you used We're to- We're learning a lot about him now. You do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. So, so he was friends with probably like Venti, like a character was Venti. 
An oh my god. Mondstadt transpired the story oh, he always tells us such good stories. Where a tyrant ruled. I met a boy not that old. The liar he played. Oh my god. No, sucked. what? This is how he... But storm walls blocked blue sky. He was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn. For oh, the music as well. And gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar. Were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. That's the such a good freaking illustration as well. Look how beautiful this is! And I threw myself into freedom's Oh my tumult. god. Oh, with Deluke as well? Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations Oh my god, fight. so Deluke would remember this. In the smoke, a despot met his Aww. doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too oh, soon. Oh no! So Deluke would remember this completely. Anew, the story passed down, and since then never has another worn its crown. So beautiful. This game. This freaking game. Well, then what? What happened to your friend? Same situation with Stanley's friend? Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the Always. story? Always. Yes, of course. The suspense is killing Paimon. Paimon, could you fetch us some meter fish? Wait, what? Now's the time you suddenly get a craving what do you mean? for apples. Really? <laughs> Getting a little peckish or something. Oh, so peckish. Why are we doing this? <sighs> Paimon's headed up to here with you. Why are we... You know, you're so smart it almost makes me Wait, uncomfortable what? sometimes. So we made Paimon leave? But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze. <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. This is so beautiful. Like, I can't get over how freaking beautiful this story is. I'm listening. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. Wait, that it's over? No! <laughs> That's so, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so sad it's over. The green clad figure is on characters like, assigned sometimes even in the least some wind grows heavy in its grief. But n not that mortals could ever see a moment oh so brief. So this is, okay, this is one of the most incredible side stories ever. It's making me super emotional right now. Um, and I want to talk, just, we'll, we'll talk about it here with our boy. Um, but, like, I'm putting the controller down just so I don't fall. Um, so yeah, like, just in timeline, we started off, like I said, we started off with this imaginary friend stuff. Which already, piquing his interest, you know, and then... What got deeper, as soon as we found out that Stanley was, like, harboring, you know, this, like, trauma from his loss of his friend, I didn't expect Venti to have such oh, a relation to that as well. In ages. Come on, I love how go. they made this, like, turn back around for Venti, and then we actually got some origin stories for Venti as well. I think she, he made Paimon go away because he didn't want to relive the, the rest of the story. I think that's probably the case. We knew what the rest of the story is, we know what, what it probably is. Um, but he probably didn't want to, like, have to say it again, even though, like... So he, so we picked up on the fact that like, Paimon was probably gonna be very pushy about it, and we were like, hey, just you know, leave it. Um, it's also cool that he has like the same kind of like hair as this uh, statue here, right? It's very cool. Um, so cool. Like, I, I'm sorry that like I'm just seeing, like I, it, I'm gushing over this. I'm gushing about how good this was. This is one of the best story, probably the best story mission we've done so far. And not suspecting all, I thought it was gonna be ending with the Stanley thing in the freaking. A dungeon, but no, it's actually something more important than that at all. Um, I honestly, I'll be honest with you, um, I don't want this to end. <laughs> I don't want this to end, so I'm gonna leave my character here for a bit uh, while I'm like maybe editing the videos or something like that. This is such a beautiful moment, and when we leave, he's not gonna be here forever. And I don't know if we're ever going to get to talk to this character again. It's making me very sad, and I'm going to get choked up in a second. 
Um, thank you guys for watching this. I know we said we're going to do more today. I didn't expect the story quest to be so long, but like, of course, I should always expect it to be this long at this stage. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always supporting me. Um, and thank you to the Never Could Repay the Baby Gangsta Tears in Jamie Bull, Janet the Nana, Normal Kara, Rachel S, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Poker Girl, Tedder, and Fruity. Thank you. Thank you.